The people that want to come to Keller Williams are people that are very independent. They're out of the box. Well, I think you have to be a little um, spirited and have a little bit of an edge. I guess be fearless. There's an amazing vibe at Keller Williams, and it's a national phenomenon. Why am I here, and what's my purpose in life, and what do I want to get out of, and how can I be the best me possible? The Harkers have been totally changed by this company. How does a company behave if it truly wants to be in a partnership, quality relationship with everyone in the organization? When you wake up in the morning, you decide that what you do professionally not only can't be a ceiling for you, but can't be a ceiling for others, you're going to be taken on a magical journey. Because if you're willing to let them take you where they want to go, it's going to get really big. And what, what's required is you have to be willing to let it go there. You have to be willing to let this thing be as big as it can be. It's a leap that takes you from where you are now, and it can help you embrace where you can be. Major transformation. It totally changed my life, and it totally changed my business. There are often times we're called uh, an airy-fairy company or we're called a cult. And I just say to people who just get so worried about that, I just say, oh, honey, don't worry about it. They're just ignorant. You know, we're classy. You know, cultures are classy. People live in cultures. They call it the Western civilization. It's a culture. They don't know the difference between the word cult. That's where you drink the Kool-Aid. And culture, which is simply a belief system or a value system that you have clearly defined and you attempt to follow. What I know for a fact is we wouldn't be who we are or where we are without our culture. It is a wealth building company, but it's not about the money. The money comes because of the standards they set, the belief system, the ethics, the principles, the culture that, that exists within this company. The culture at Keller Williams was truthfully a tremendous breath of fresh air. It was something that I desperately needed. It was no longer me against the world or me against fellow agents. That's why we have a culture, is so that we treat each other and our customers and our clients in a, in a high-minded way. Do we live and breathe a culture? Absolutely. It's our lives. It's contagious. Do I have a culture? I'm infected. I've got it, baby. I'm, I'm a carrier. <laughs> So when people first come to our market center operations training and we're teaching them about our cultural model and we say it, it's based on nine precepts that were built by the original Agent Leadership Council with, with Gary. We felt, I think Gary felt more than anybody that we had to put this down so that it became a way of life for people that joined the company. And so we started to come up with something that was catchy. Uh, and so those basic principles were things which were totally consistent with how we had been building the business up to that point. The Y, four C, two T's. And that means win-win or no deal. Integrity, do the right thing. Customers always come first. Commitment in all things. Communication. Seek first to understand. Creativity. Ideas before results. Uh, teamwork. Together, everyone achieves more. Trust begins with honesty. Success results through people. Through people. It's a way of life. It's a way of doing business. That belief system helps people create value in their life sometime when it's not there. And they find themselves a more fulfilled person. Isn't that cool? If you don't understand the Y4C2Ts, then you just don't understand Keller Williams. It's one thing to talk the culture, and it's a whole nother thing to walk the walk. We heard a story that came out of Kansas City that is a, a terrific story, and it's from the Johns team. They have friends, a family named Rhodes. And the Rhodes family had two children. And they had just taken on three foster children who had lost their mom in an accident. 
and they had a need for a larger home. And so Steve put their home on the market. He listed it at a discounted commission. And then he, after a month, when he had not sold the home, he and his wife purchased the home themselves so that this family could move on and go to the larger home. We hear stories like that all the time from the field. That's the Keller Williams culture. They inspire us, they, they, they uplift us. Win-win or no deal. I, integrity, do the right thing. I guess the best way to describe win-win to me is a platter. And if each person were on opposing sides of a spinning wheel or one of those Lazy Susan devices, if you spun it around and all of a sudden you were on that side of the equation, how would you feel about it? 